Hey guys, Landon is back with another video. And today, we're gonna take out Mr. Big Blue Pagode, the EX30. Um, I'm not gonna take it for a whole day, just a few hours, uh, so we can test it. So it won't be a review, but I'll at least give you my thoughts on it, so let's go. Right off the bat, I have got to say that this is my favorite riding Pagoda wheel thus far. It's also my favorite heavy wheel thus far, so whatever Pagoda did to the weight and balance really paid off. It's got a big price, and it's also just plain old big. I thought I'd show you just how big it is by comparing it to the Patton that's there, the S22, and also the V13. So the EX30, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, 102 pounds, so that is Sherman S weight, more or less. It has the same size battery as the Sherman S, which is 3,600 watt hours. Uh, but unlike the Sherman S, uh, this has a 134 volt system. So in theory, it should have a little more oomph. It's got a C40 motor as well. And uh, yeah, suspension, 20 inch wheel, all the nice little fancy bits and uh, not a cheap wheel either. This wheel is, uh, I think, 5,500 Canadian pesos. Um, right off the get-go the get -go, though, it's uh, not a hard wheel to ride at all, actually. I just jumped on it and it's, it feels pretty well balanced, actually. Dare I say more balanced than even the Sherman S. The Sherman S, to me, I know people were giving me flack for saying bad things about it in the review, but I was just giving you my honest opinion and, I mean, I don't understand what was going on. It's like people are saying, oh, I didn't know what I was talking about. Well, all I was saying was the headlights. <laughs> the headlights I just couldn't test because I only get the wheel from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So it's not like I uh, can actually test the headlights. Everything else I thought was either objective or subjective information and not lack thereof, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, anyways, the, the Sherman S, I actually did like that wheel. I think it's a good wheel, but it's just, it's heavy. It's expensive. Uh, it's not nearly as maneuverable as the original Sherman. So for that reason, I said, yeah, it's a good wheel, but it's not for everyone, right? That's all. Anyways, back to the EX30. One thing I really like is the suspension slider design. It seems well-constructed and works. King Song, please take note. Unfortunately, it's just an air shock with adjustable dampening, but hey, from my few hours of riding it, I liked it. Sure, it wasn't as refined as the Sherman S, but it was a lot better than no suspension. This is the one Bagode wheel that I actually enjoyed using the stock pads. For whatever reason, the other ones just didn't quite fit right. But this one, I would actually potentially keep it on. I'm not sure. The nice thing is that it is removable and you have a lot of real estate for third-party pads. So that's a definite plus. Another improvement from Bagode is that the battery boxes are no longer made from recycled coffee lids. They are now actually rigid and offer some real protection. All right. We're gonna test the power on the EX30. Not a full on speed run, that's too fast, but we'll test the power. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's got power. Real good power. That's 60. Wow. Yeah, she's got power, all right. That was about 65, 67 right there. Effortless, totally effortless. Wow. <laughs> Totally effortless. Okay, now we're gonna test trolley handleness. We're gonna go down this path with the big bad boy, see how it is. The trolley handle's in the center, so it's nicely balanced, and that's what we're looking for. Center trolley handles are ideal, and a nice wide one so we have some leverage on it. The InMotion V13, you can't get any leverage on it. It's just like a little tiny ball at the end, almost looks like a stick shifter. And then the Patton has a nice wide handle, but it's at the rear and it's way more unstable in the rear. 
yeah, see, this is this was easy. 102 pound wheel and effortless maneuvering it around that. Awesome. Good job, Goad. I want to see if this is going to catch on this, this little kickstandy piece. Is it going to? No, it didn't. I pushed it a little bit harder. Cool. Another plus for the EX30 is I actually like the stock pedals. They are honeycomb and they definitely have more grip than the stock Sherman S pedals. Yeah, I liked them. Again, it's daylight, so I can't really test the headlights, but they are certainly there and do things. This mode flashes in case you want to give fellow riders seizures during a group ride. The charge port is definitely more conveniently located than other wheels, looking at you S22. I'm sure Albert will let us know the waterproofness of this design, but generally the top is where the rain hits first, so I'm not sure that's the best location. It also only comes with a 3 amp charger, which is going to take a very long time, but you can charge this wheel up to 10 amps, so I would recommend maybe getting a faster charger if you ride a lot. Alright, so we talked about some be goods, but now we have to talk about some be bads. One thing I'm not a massive fan of is the screen. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you have to like take a double look at it because it's like you can see the background of the digital letters too much, so it's kind of hard to tell what's illuminated and what's not. But uh, yeah, it's still legible, it's really big, but uh, the actual speedometer is still kind of blurry, at least it is to me. And as you look down here, <laughs> you can see there's uh, some bagodeness happening. Whoops, it did a bagode. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, not ideal fit and finish there. I will admit that the taillight installation has improved over previous bagode models. Yeah, the last ones looked like they were hot wired onto it after it was built. So yeah, this one is a nicer fit and finish, but still dark and not very visible. It's a small nagle, but at night it's kind of important to be seen. Unfortunately, Bagot has also kept the exposed battery wire design, which has been a feature on all of their modern suspension wheels. I don't like seeing exposed battery wires that could get damaged. And my final nagle is Bagot as a company overall. For some reason, there's still no smart BMS and other safety features seen on other premium wheels in 2023. I don't like how their seemingly monthly Bagode releases. This creates problems for companies like EVs who need to support your EUC after you purchase it. They need to have parts in stock and it becomes logistically difficult to service wheels when they become obsolete as quickly as they do in Bagode land. But for this wheel, their throwing spaghetti at the wall business model has paid off. They've managed to create an incredibly powerful, agile wheel that is a joy to ride. To me, the EX30 feels like a heavyweight S22. You can do things with ease on this wheel that I would have found difficult to do on the Sherman S. So I will tip my hat off to Bagode for this one. Thanks again to Evies for letting me take this wheel out. And please like, subscribe, and use my coupon code Lando underscore cycle next time you're shopping at Evies. Anyways, that's enough for me, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.